Greetings, groovy people. Welcome to the channel. I'm the self-proclaimed blue dragon. Sorry if I sound a little gross. I am at the time of recording. Still getting rid of this cold. It's gone. It's just... Anytime I get a cold my entire life, it always just... I cough for like ever after. So I got a cough drop in and everything. So sorry if I sound gross. I wanted to take a little break from the sketchbook tours because those are very long videos. They're a bit laborious to get through. I, I know that is probably the case for... A lot of you so I do want to thank anyone any and everyone who's actually watched those and gotten through them I really appreciate it because I know they are they are long part five is going to be the last one I'm gonna try to get it down to half hour but since it is the very last part of the book there's a lot of editing and cutting out that I got to do so hopefully it'll be under half or, or around half an hour is my goal but we'll see I'm not done editing it yet but I wanted to just kind of take a break from that, give y'all a little bit of a break, and work on a, a, a drawing of a pretty girl in the background. So I've got someone, I've, I've got a couple patrons on Patreon who are fucking amazing and help support me, and I thank them very much for that support. And I've also got a subscriber on Subscribestar right now, and I wanted to thank that person for subscribing, and also I do create not safe for work content over there. I usually do tasteful nudes. I personally don't feel comfortable drawing explicit nudity. Um, it's just not my thing. I like more classical nudity, things like that, you know? So I wanted to thank them and it is uh, something that I like to do. I like to do when I have the time, at least one nude image, maybe once, you know, a month or every other month, color pages and stuff like that, since I only have two tiers over there. And the $5 tier is a little bit more um, than what I have to offer on Patreon. So I do a little bit more over there. Try to keep it equal with the $5 tier on Patreon is essentially what I'm doing. So yeah, I had this idea for this character back in 2020. My partner and I and a friend of his had been at a place in the Portland area. And out we were sitting outdoors at a table getting a couple drinks and just hanging out shooting the shit because we hadn't seen him for a while but yeah i brought my sketchbook because i i sometimes like to doodle when i'm sitting around and i came up with this idea for this character she doesn't really have a name but the title of the the piece is angel of the morning and that's named after a song from the 1960s late 1960s that i really like you know even as a kid like i listened to oldies you know my parents picked that out for us I and mean, we listened to other stuff too don't get me wrong but by the time i was a teenager i was listening to oldies and classic rock by choice and i used to really like that song when it came on the on the oldies station so so that's where i got the name for this character or at least for this piece it's not the character's name obviously and i don't really have too much to say about it other than uh this is all you know like the sketching the inking, I wanted to, you know, I always like it when I see people use colors for the outlines. And anyone who's been around the channel for a while knows that I primarily will use black ink for the outlines for my comic. Not just primarily, but like <laughs> I only use black ink for the outlines. Very ink oriented. But I decided that I was gonna, I, I, I like that, that technique of using different colors for the outlines. So I've got some uh, leftover Windsor and Newton inks that I use for the outline. I think plum is the kind of pinkish color that I use and then indigo is the color that I use for her body. And then I use my Dowler and Brownie gold ink that I've had, all these inks I've had for years. Um, it takes me a while to get through, through stuff, which is good because then I save money that way. And I kind of save that stuff for like my special projects like this one. The version that I am gifting my Subscribestar member or that I have uploaded onto Subscribestar is digitally colored and that's you know downloadable uh, anyone at the five dollar tier or higher can download it but i i did a different version specifically because i wanted that to be special to subscribe star so here in this video once i get finished with the inking i actually scan that in so that i could color it uh, in photoshop using multiply layers and stuff like that and then i did like the background a little bit differently but here in the video I actually have a hard copy that I paint with my prong. I think that's how it's pronounced, praying. You've all seen them before. They're just regular watercolors. They're not anything fancy. They're not out of a tube, but I like them. They, they have a, a lot of very bright colors. 
So I ended up using, oh, what's the name? Let me take a look. I had some mixture for her skin that I used. I had that left over from the Pride Month project that I worked on last year for a zine. So I couldn't tell you what all colors are in that, but I also used, uh, tur I know turquoise blue was one of the primary colors that I used from the palette. And I think I used that specifically for her lips. Then like her skin is some kind of mixture of red violet with some other colors. The background is a mixture of a skin tone that I had mixed up combined with the yellow orange and just yellow, those, those colors. And again, with the skin tone, I can't tell you what all's in it. I probably used a little bit of green, uh, maybe like the yellow green and the orange and red. I mean, there's different ways of like blending different skin tones. So I'm not entirely sure what, what colors I had in that, but that's how you got kind of the goldy background. I was just trying to use up paint so that I didn't waste anything. And that's what I used for the background. Pretty straightforward. You know, I've been doing a lot of traveling back and forth between my home and my parents' house. And I had uh, been kind of in a slump trying to figure out how am I gonna get back into the flow of working. And I was feeling kind of down because like, I like to work. I am kind of a workhorse. I'm a work, not really a workaholic, but I definitely, I don't shy away from working long hours. Whether it was, you know, like my full-time jobs that I've had, my part-time jobs, my first job as a waitress, I took up any hours that I could. I love the shit out of my boss. I love my job. I even volunteered when they moved to a new place to help actually clean and prepare things right before my mom took me out to Oregon for the first time as a graduation present. I'd worked there since like I was 16. I love I love that job. I mean, it was a hard job, you know, being a waitress, but I, I've always liked being around people. I'm kind of a people person, or at least I used to be. The restaurant was beetle themed. I, I loved it. I, I just loved it. So I've, even from like day one working there, like as a waitress, I've always loved to, to, to keep busy and to do things. So upon coming back from this trip from my parents, I just, because I got sick with this cold and it was a cold, I think I've said that before in some of the other videos, but I was, I was ready to get back into the flow of things, but then I got slammed with a fucking cold and still it's kind of, you can tell it in my voice that I'm still a little bit exhausted from it. And then, you know, my partner accidentally hurt his, <laughs> hurt his toe, he dropped a fucking plate on it. So like, I've just been, you know, oh no, our landlord, our landlady, the representative for our landlord, like sprung a fucking surprise home inspection on us. So like, I'm um, getting over my cold and now I gotta fucking clean the house, which it wasn't too terrible, but you know, it's, it's just, one thing after another, bang, 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 kept happening. And it was like, I just, I just want to work. And I just got so demotivated and kind of down. And that was one of the reasons why I wanted to actually set my ass down in the chair and just have fun with art. Now that I don't have fun with it with my comic, I definitely do. But I just wanted to experience once again, just that free flow of, of drawing with no purpose other than the joy of drawing. And so that's kind of where this image came from. I had promised back in March that I was going to work on this picture. And I was like, you know what? This is a good fucking opportunity to get back into the swing of things. And so I really have my uh, patrons and you know my supporter over on Subscribestar to thank for helping to kind of pull me out of just kind of this uh, fugue that I had been in because I was really starting to feel down. And it's like, th that's the crazy thing is because like I really wanted to, to work. Wow, I really stuttered that word out. I really wanted to work. I loved to fucking work on my comic. I loved to draw, but I was just starting to get so down that I, I, I like that I feel obligated to produce work, not just for myself, but for other people, because I do art for myself, obviously, but quite often I put myself aside for other stuff. So having people subscribe, not just to my comics, but also subscribe to like, basically help support me in, on a monetary level. To me, that's a great motivator because it's like, I wake up and I'm like, you know what, this isn't just, it, it's about me, the comic, you know, art, doing that stuff. That's about my vision. 
but this is also about doing this for other people and providing art and hopefully inspiration for them getting up and serving a purpose outside of myself too now, now, now that sounds really like I'm aggrandizing myself but what I mean is I like feeling obligated to produce something to maybe inspire other people so uh, this entire video is just dedicated to my subscribe star member and my patrons I got a new patron over there I really appreciate them all of them everybody so thank you so much. This one's for you. And if you're over on Subscribe Star, then you'll have the digital picture of this because I kind of keep my more not safe for work stuff, even more not safe for work stuff over on the Subscribe Star adult. That's not to say that I don't upload not safe for work stuff on Patreon, but that site specifically is for pinups and stuff like that. Um, and for people who don't really feel comfortable subscribing to Patreon. So I hope that makes sense. Anyway, yeah. Thank you all for watching. I hope you liked the picture. I did kind of speed it up a lot. This took like maybe two or three hours to do in total, but I did it all in one session. I didn't really take any breaks other than to go to the bathroom and I may have um, stopped to eat something while the ink was drying, but yeah. This felt really good to work on. And I guess I'm gonna end on that. Thank you guys. Well, thank you guys, gals, and, and everybody, everybody. Peace and love, fare you well and keep on trucking.